Hi there, I'm back, and today I want to review my new cold brew system uh, that I bought a little over a month ago. And of course, wouldn't you know, I bought it, it was somewhere around like the very end of November, I think it was like right after Thanksgiving. And um, I bought it, and then the weather promptly went south. And I don't mean warmer. What I mean is the temperatures dropped. They sank like below zero. So drinking beverages on ice weren't, wasn't terribly appealing. <laughs> but it's finally um, finally warmed up a bit. It's in the mid to upper 30s right now. So generally, I don't do cold brew coffee um, except in the summer, especially when it gets kind of hot and sticky. It's very, very refreshing. So I still get my coffee fix but without all the hot steaminess of, of an espresso based beverage. Um, but I do love the taste, uh, the flavor and the smoothness that cold brew coffee delivers. It's absolutely wonderful stuff. Now I normally make my cold brew in a French press and it's usually either my, my eight cup size, or I also have a really big um, 12 cup size for a, a really large batch that I can put in the fridge and what's great about cold brew is you put it in the fridge and it and it will last, um, it'll stay fresh, I should say, up to two weeks. It's actually um, uh, great stuff that way. And um, like I said, it's very smooth. It's also for for those of you that like coffee or love coffee and have trouble with with the acid in your stomach. Cold brew is a wonderful alternative because it's extremely low in acid. A lot of that is not extracted in cold water like it would be in hot or boiling water uh, brewing methods. So um, what this is, this particular, I know there's a lot of different cold brew um, systems out there. This one is great for me because I am the only coffee drinker in my household. So this is the the Primula or Primula. I'm not even exactly sure how to pronounce that. Um, every website I go to that sells this stuff, everybody, <laughs> this brand I should say, everybody pronounces it differently. So that is, that is the brand, P-R-I-M-U-L-A, um, Primula. Uh, this is the cold brew and travel um, they also have a larger cold brew system, but I wanted to try this travel one mainly because not just because it's a smaller amount, but, um, this whole system here is glass instead of plastic and the, um, the filter where you put the coffee grounds, instead of it being that nylon, really fine nylon mesh material, this is all stainless steel, which is really, really nice. And it has an, um, the gasket is silicone, also very, very nice. And the bottle, like I said, is glass. This one's all spotted because there's there's still a little water in there from washing it. Like I said, this is the first time I'm going to use it. Uh, if I didn't mention that before, <laughs> this is the first time I'm going to use the system. So basically what happens here, let me back up a little bit. I'm a little close. Um, you're going to put your coffee grounds in the filter um this way and then you're going to drop this into the bottom there's a wider cap that has the silicone seal in there and you're going to put that on nice and tight then you turn it over and you're going to fill this with cool or cold water and you're going to fill it about three quarters of the way full they tell the instructions say to leave a little bit of air head space for brewing then you're going to put the smaller cap the one with the logo you're going to put the smaller cap on there. And it also has a nice silicone seal. I don't know if you can see that down in there. And you're going to put that on like that. Now it's all sealed. You're going to just gently turn back and forth like that. And I am going to demo this. We're going to actually put some coffee and water in here. Then you're going to put this in the fridge for 12 all the way up to 24 hours, depending on how strong you like it. And that's kind of like where um, there's some play involved. And it and it's so subjective, too, because everybody's taste is different. Um, as far as the strength, they like their coffee, but cold brew is so mellow that even a really strong cold brew is, 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 um, is still really nice and smooth and it has no bitterness whatsoever. It's fantastic stuff. Um, this system also comes, it is a travel, uh, travel, uh, type device. It also comes with this neoprene sleeve with a little loop handle so you can pack it to go. Uh, once you have um, your coffee made and your, the grounds are out of there, whatever, you can pack this to go, obviously with, with the cap on both ends. 
and it protects the glass and keeps it cold for a, a, for a decent amount of time. Um, I don't usually travel um, with coffee at all. I usually drink it at home. Um, but um, but that is a really, really nice feature because I know a lot of people like to take their coffee on the go. So why don't we uh, get started here? I'm going to grind my coffee and I'm going to use my Cuisinart DBM8 for this. Doesn't matter. That just happened to be on the front of the shelf. So that's what I'm going to use. And I have it on the number 12 setting. It Now, this one is interesting because in the instructions, I should probably show you that. This is what comes with it. Uh, this is the little pamphlet. It's really not an owner's manual. This is a little pamphlet that comes with it. Um, and one side shows you um, the parts, all the different things that come with it. And kind of, you know, how it goes together. And then the other side are the user instructions, step-by-step -step instructions here. Uh, safety instructions, cleaning instructions, and then it also has three sample recipes. There's an just your straight up iced coffee. There's an iced cappuccino and an iced mocha. So um, since I'm just going to make the coffee today uh, on the video, obviously we, we can't get into these. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you how, how to actually get it started and make the coffee. And in 12 to 24 hours, you're going to remove that filter from the bottom. Um, clean the cap really well because you don't want any grounds you know, that might be caught up on there. You don't want to put those, put this on, and then you've got those grounds of sediment in your finished coffee. And then you just cap it up, put it in the fridge, and uh, drink it however you like. So let's, uh, it says to use um, approximately five tablespoons of ground coffee that's regular drip grind. And that's, oh, I'm sorry, I got off track before. That's where that's different for me. I'm with my French press. I'm used to grinding it way up here on the coarse setting for French for to use in the French press because that sediment will get through or get around the edges of the of the filter on the bottom. This is very, very fine mesh. So we're going to do it on the, as per instructions. Let's see how this goes. And then you can make adjustments up and down however you like it. So let's get grinding here. We got it all. Oh, that smells so good. Okay, so okay, so we are in the middle of January, so you can see some static there. We'll knock it down so that when we open it up, it doesn't go flying everywhere. All right, so let's get this filled up. Now, this also it says fill it about three quarters full. I'm used to making much larger amounts of cold brew coffee, but this is actually kind of a halfway decent um, size. Okay, let's put just a wee bit more in there. All right. Okay, so I've got it filled about to there, if you can see that. So right about there. Just kind of guess three quarters. Okay, so let me get this mounted and, and uh, we'll fill that with water. So just hold on just a minute. Actually, I do want to show you how to mount it. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this cap on because we have to turn it upside down. Just ever so briefly. I'm going to put the filter in the bottle like that. Make sure the gasket's in place under the lip. All right. Then we're going to. Put the base on, make sure it's good and firm. All right, so now we're gonna turn it upside down or right side up, however you look at it. Open that up and I'm just gonna fill this with water. So hold on just a minute. Okay, so I've filled that with some water out of my fridge, 
my filtered fridge uh, tap. And it says to leave, where are we here? Yes, to leave about an inch and a half of headspace. Uh, so there's a little bit of air in there. Then we're going to put this cap on. Okay, and then it says to just gently turn it. I don't know if you can see that the water is there. Now you can really see it. You can see the coffee. You just And this will make sure that all the grounds get saturated. You can see some air bubbles there. Some tiny little air bubbles coming out. And then, yeah, see, look how much, how fast, quickly it's turning the brown coffee color. So now I'm going to put this in my refrigerator. And until tomorrow, tomorrow morning, and uh, and I will have some fresh brewed cold brew coffee. So, um, so far, I really, really like this. When I first started brewing cold brew, I liked it so much. I, I That's why I went out and bought this, or actually I found it on eBay, this huge 12 cup French press um, because I was drinking it constantly. And then you sort of... <laughs> step back to reality and say, okay, I really, really like it, but I don't think I need that much um, around. So this, for me, this is a perfect amount. And I love that it's glass and stainless steel, silicone, stainless steel filter. It's it's just a wonderful little device. So again, that is the Primula Cold Brew and Travel Glass Bottle with Protective Neoprene Sleeve Cold Brew Ice Coffee Brewer. And uh, well, here's the sleeve. Okay, I found mine at my local uh, world market store, and I think I paid somewhere around fifteen or sixteen dollars, which for something like this is actually a pretty decent price. So I hope this is helpful to you, and uh, in a later video, I will, I will, um, I will um, update you on how well this brews coffee. But so far, it's looking pretty good. It's nice and brown already. So on that note, have a great day. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.